Hello and welcome to this additional video for tutorial 173 and I received a question asking can this program be applied to radar screen and yes it can. The person who asked had had a few issues seemingly the the value calculated was different between the chart and radar screen so I'm just going to explain a little bit about the setup and uh, first of all let me just show you the chart that we have here we have a five minute a five minute yes at yes chart and we have the program applied to that and you can see we have uh, this down trend at the moment in red you can see the value here is calculated at three seven three six sixty one and you can see the same value here for es.d five minutes on the radar screen and this one is being plotted in red and so is this one and then just to add to it i've added a little bit of information which is saying when c is below the super trend what the value of the super trend is and then i've got uh, one indicates that we're talking about the program applied to the indicator and two means this one here when it's applied to the radar screen i'll just show you that print statement in a moment so the uh, obviously look at the original video and I've not really made any changes to the program at all. Apart from I've just added this little print statement here. So I've said if it's the uh, at ES, if the direction is down, then print uh, C is less than super trend. And also is it a chart or is it a radar screen? And similarly, if the direction is up. And let me just show you some of the setup for the radar screen. So if we go to radar screen, studies, uh, edit studies, I'm going to say all studies and then if I just double click on here you'll see that what we need to do is very important load additional data for accumulative calculations and if you click here for details you'll understand a little bit more about what that's uh, what that's saying and uh, the reason we need to do this is because we're using an accumulative calculation in our program. If we just go back to the program and see how we're doing this calculation, you'll see that what we're actually using is X average, exponential moving average. And if we just look again at this explanation of load, loading additional data, you'll see that uh, for exponential moving average, what they recommend is we have a load additional bars of length for, with 4.5. So what, what I've done in this case, assuming we have an ATR length of, I think I've got it set in this program as nine. So I've said five nines and I've rounded it up. And that basically means that the program has got enough bars to be able to give an accurate calculation. And uh, the difference is that it can do a calculation, but as there are more bars, the values, the, uh, the calculations converge to become more and more similar between, for example, uh, an indicator on a chart with lots of bars and the radar screen. And I've done, I've done, I've actually done a tutorial on this and I'll try and put a link in the, uh, the description below the video. Now you'll see there that the color is starting to change. It went, uh, it's now gone to yellow and uh, the same thing will happen uh, on the chart here. The same numbers going to yellow. And the reason for that is because that the, uh, the close has temporarily gone above that value. Maybe it'll stay above. I don't know. Um, at the moment it's a low again. So when you see the color on the radar screen changing, that is equivalent to on the chart when we're potentially going to change direction when that close is moving up uh, above and below the super trend value. Okay. So that's an uh, introduction to using this program with radar screen. I hope uh, you will find it useful. Again, if you're not part of this email list, the Markplex email list, then please go to markplex.com and join the email list. And then also, of course, subscribe to wherever you're watching this video. Thank you.